So you're selling your home in California and it can seem like a bear because you've got somewhere between six to eight percent in closing costs. What do I mean by closing costs? Well, those are agent commissions, escrow fees, title fees, and of course, a variety of taxes, including the big one, transfer taxes. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So what are these fees and why are they so expensive? Don't wait until your closing statement shows up to understand what taxes you're gonna be liable for when you're selling a home. I'm Kiwi of the coast, the agent with the most. Helping you maximize and sell the value of your coastal home. So let's dive into the subject. So what are transfer taxes? So when the title of a home, this is the document or the deed that entitles you to the ownership in that particular property or real estate is sold and transfers, the government wants to collect taxes. They want to collect a tax or levy a tax on that transfer so they can fund themselves. So depending on where you live, the different government agencies are going to levy a transfer tax on you. And there's a whole different range, starting with the state, state of California, down to the county level, city, and in some cases, even HOAs. So let's look at some specific. Now, of course, the purpose of these taxes is to generate revenue for the governing body. Who pays these taxes? Well, of course, traditionally, the seller pays these taxes, although it is negotiable and sellers, depending on the market, can offset and have the buyer pay some of these taxes if it works in the negotiations. And there are parts, for example, in Northern California where the buyer picks up the tab for some of these transfer taxes as well. But of course, when it comes to the transfer taxes, it's all about those three L's in real estate, location, location, and location. And you can't expect that the transfer taxes, for example, with the city of, of San Francisco, are going to be the same as some little quaint town in the Central Coast. As I mentioned before, transfer taxes break down by state, county, city, and in some cases, even HOAs. And sometimes you'll pay all three, but not always. Let's look at a few particulars. So here's the breakdown. State of California, and this is one size fits all. Figure out $1.1, that is, per thousand. That's your baseline transfer tax that most people are gonna see on their closing statement. In a home that's a million dollars, that amounts to $1,100 in fees associated with that transfer, that sale when the deed's recorded. This is all about rates. So a seller in, for example, Tahoe, where the average price is about 480, is going to pay the same rate as someone who's selling in the city of Orange, where that median sales price is closer to 790,000. Same rate, not same amount, still $1.10 per thousand. So you can see that the seller in Orange ends up paying more tax, $839, versus the seller in Tahoe, where the amount is a little over 500. Now, what about the county transfer taxes? Counties in California can also levy transfer taxes depending on which county and where you are. Culver City, $4.5 per thousand. That equates to 0.45%. Compared to Pomona, where it's $2.2 per thousand or 0.22%, that is almost half the rate. So the equivalent house, same price in those two neighborhoods, the Pomona sale transfer tax for the city, it's gonna be half. Now, some cities actually have tiered ranges of transfer taxes, and let's take a look at that. City of San Francisco or County of San Francisco has a tiered range. So homes sold between $100 and $250,000, I don't think there's any of those homes about, are gonna be taxed at a rate of $2.50 per 500. Homes between 250 and 350 taxed at 350 per thousand. Homes priced from 250 to a million, that rate goes up to $3.50 per 500. Homes a million to 5 million, now go up to $3.75 per 500. Homes priced and sold between 5 million and 25 million, it jumps to 27.50 per 500. That's a huge jump. It's looking like that mansion tax all over again. Homes 25 million or more, well guess what, you lucky folks, it's $30 per 500. It's a 6% transfer tax on your house imposed by the city of San Francisco. No wonder, those folks move into Orange County. So before you set out selling your house, it's really important to take a look at state, 
county, city, and even some local HOA taxes so that you're fully versed on what your tax liability is going to be when your home is sold and the deed is transferred. You do not want any surprises last minute. Make sure you click on the video that's on your screen right now so that you can watch the next video in the series and stay up to date with everything that's happening real estate wise. Click now and we'll see you then.